Drop in. The orange oval designates freestyle terrain, such as parks and pipes. Freestyle terrain has designations for size. Start small and work your way up. Designations are relative to each resort. Some resorts designate features as small, medium, and large. Be aware these ratings are determined by size, not degree of difficulty, and are relative only to that resort. Make a plan. Before you go, check resort websites, review overall conditions, and ask park workers or patrollers about current park conditions. When you get to the mountain, make sure and warm up first. Be aware that the features change constantly due to snow conditions, weather, usage, grooming, and time of day. In the morning when you get to the hill, make a plan before you start hitting all the features. Make sure you roll through the park, check the speed, make sure there haven't been any changes, and if there are, ask the park crew about them. Just kind of get an idea of what the park's like before you start sending it. Every time you use freestyle terrain, make a plan for each feature you want to use. Your speed, approach, and takeoff will directly affect your maneuver and landing. Having the right speed for a feature in a park is pretty crucial. You don't want to go too slow and knuckle a jump or overshoot it with too much speed, so be sure to ask other riders or even follow them into jumps. Understand the intended use of the freestyle terrain you have chosen. For example, some features are intended to be used in a series with no stopping, and some individually with stopping areas. Jump ramps are for jumping, and rail ramps are for entering onto rails. Your actions can knock you off balance, so always trying to land on your feet. And remember, inverted aerials are not recommended. Check with your resort to understand their policies on inverted aerials. Look before you leave. Read and obey all posted signage, instructions, and warnings before entering freestyle terrain. So when you're rolling up to a feature for the first time, it's always good to go around it, check for other people, and uh, look before you leave. Scope around the jumps first, not over them. Watch others use the features before you attempt features and jumps that you are not familiar with. Sometimes it's hard to tell if there's a landing on the back side or whatever, so look before you leave. Easy style it. Know your limits and ski or ride within your ability level. Easy style it, start small and work your way up. Look for small progression parks or features to begin with. Freestyle skills require maintaining control on the ground and in the air. Do not attempt any features unless you have sufficient ability and experience to do so safely. Avoid getting in the back seat. Project yourself forward and stay balanced. When you're coming to the takeoff zone, you're gonna wanna project your body forward so you can align yourself with landing instead of getting sent back seat and biffing upside down on the landing. Always watch and control your speed. Too much speed can affect your landing and ability to land on your feet. If you feel like you're going too fast into a future, you can scrub some speed by speed checking. Once I'm comfortable hitting the jump, I usually like to take a few setup turns into it, get my feet under me, and if I need to scrub some speed, I can. Respect gets respect. Respect the terrain and others. One person on a feature at a time. Respect freestyle terrain and others using it. Always call your drop and be sure to clear the landing if you fall. Know the code. Always stay in control. People ahead of you have the right of way. Stop in a safe place for you and others. Whenever starting downhill or merging, look uphill and yield. Use devices to help prevent runaway equipment. Observe signs and warnings and keep off closed trails. Know how to use the lift safely. You and you alone are responsible for making the decision to go into the park and using any feature. Make sure and learn the basics of freestyle terrain before coming to the mountain. Every rider is different, especially weight, type of board, wax, strength, physical ability, and experience. Wear a helmet to reduce injuries, but remember, Skiing and snowboarding safely is the most important factor for preventing injuries. You want to be wearing a helmet when you're doing tricks and, and riding those trees and getting nasty. It's definitely saved some lives. Kevin Pierce for one. It's never a bad idea to wear a helmet. It could save your life. ATML. Every feature can be broken down into four zones. We're talking about learning freestyle. 
A, T, M, and L. The approach, the takeoff, the maneuver, and the landing. The approach zone is the space where you set up your speed and stance to use the feature. The takeoff zone is for making moves that start your trip. Maneuvers when you're in the air, controlling your body, and spotting your landing. The landing zone is the prepared slope between the knuckle and the run out beyond it. Jumps. As your skills progress and you gain more experience, some terrain parks offer more advanced jumps. Many jumps vary in size and ability level. Hey man, can I follow you into the jump? I haven't hit him today. First, ride through the terrain park and watch others using the jumps and other features. Evaluate the conditions, including snow conditions, the light and park traffic. Learn and understand where to land. Even if you land in or near the sweet spot, you can still injure yourself from landing a jump if you're out of balance and you don't land on your feet. Make sure when you use a jump that you don't jump blindly. Make sure the landing zone is clear. Hey, somebody's down on the landing, don't go. It is important to maintain your balance and control, particularly at the moment in time right before you take off for your jump. For more information on park safety and to download the Smart Style video, go to the NSAA.org and Burton.com slash SmartStyle.